So you've never heard of Ren before? Nah, bro. Got me mad intrigued over <laughs> here, dog. All right, you guys. We got another one. Let's go. Hi, Ren. <laughs> What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and I have a very special guest in the house with me today, my main man, Fozzie Styles. What's what up? up? What up? What up? What up? How we doing? How we doing? Good, man. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Pretty good. Got some new things cut in the works, new, new music, pro shows and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited to have you. Now, you guys, he is a musician. Um, Actually... I might have you explain, because don't you play, like, multiple instruments? Yeah, right now I'm at, like, four, but I'm learning two more, and I do, like, opera vocals and rap and, like, just pop vocals and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, So what four instruments do you play? Uh, Bass. My, my, my main trumpet, or my main instrument is trumpet, and then bass and guitar and a, you know, a little bit of keys. Okay. And I do hand percussion, too, but that's kind and of... And what are the two that you're learning? Uh, I'm learning saxophone. And I'm learning like a little more like of like foreign instruments like hand percussion like my cajon and like okay just a bunch of random drums and flutes and stuff. How old are you? Twenty seven. Okay, man. So twenty seven. We got now. I'm y'all know I'm forty three. So we got someone who's a bit younger, but definitely knows musicianship. I guess you would you call it like music theory type of stuff. Yeah, or? just just the the entirety of not entirety i don't know everything but like a very in-depth relationship with it my whole life okay and i've grown i've done music since i was five so and you have like a music kind of family it yeah. seems like when we were talking when we did we did a reaction to <laughs> some stuff with isaac and i was like oh you're you're really into this deep and that's why i thought today's reaction would be actually pretty fun because um i want to take you i want to introduce you to a friend named ren right i'm down for it so well, you guys, let's get this one started. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on all the content. But if you rock with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. Here we go, y'all. 40. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40. 40 are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, you guys, and we're back. Let me get this logo down and pull the video up. And welcome to the Ren. I call this the Ren Roller Coaster. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do this. Um, you guys, don't forget um, to support the original content on the channel. I have a bunch of music videos, uh, freestyles off the top of the brain, sketches, parodies. We have interviews, interviews with Ren. Um, Tech Nine. Yeah, a bunch. I watched that Tech Nine one. That was, okay. pretty, that was pretty cool. Hell yeah, tight. So, we got a bunch of. Dope interviews on the channel and original content. So support the original stuff the same way you do these reactions. And let's get it. Now, before we start this reaction, what I want to do is preface this. Um, you see this. So this is actually mic'd, and he has a mic right here. So this is actually a performance. Okay. So he performs this, this, uh, this. And now there's different angles but this had to be done in one, one take, take meaning that he had to play the whole performance they didn't cut right. and edit yeah. a performance a moving together. stage yeah yes so as you're watching this i want you to take in everything from the visuals you see from the lyrics the song all the different things and just let me know what you're thinking <laughs> um i can pause at any time word and we'll have a conversation about the lyrics about um music being played whatever you see or whatever um you know Holler, so Bill, what, uh, real quick, just so I can hear it more in depth. Can I? Can I use headphones? Yeah, absolutely. Word. Right. Think we good? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Now you are gonna get the full effect. Yeah, I just got. I just gotta hear undertones and shit. Hell yeah! So let's get it, you guys. Welcome to the Ren Roller Coaster. Buckle up. This is Ren. Hi, Ren. Absolute first time reaction, blind reaction with Fozzie Styles. It was so hard to to not look at this bro i've been like chomping at the bit well it's funny too because after i told you i was like oh you've never heard of him i was like well don't listen right. like wait and yeah. let's do a authentic reaction I was like, and, and then it's like more to, things start to. popping up yeah 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 i know, know how that goes bro. i'm excited bro all right let's get it here we go hi ran Oh, 
it's it's the the guitar he's playing. It's not your like typical acoustic guitar that you would find like at a campfire. Okay, <laughs> it's a classical guitar, so you can tell because of the the top the headstock with the way that they're wound around the peg with the pegs on the bottom. It's like a very flamenco, like Spanish kind of, and the way that he's playing with his fingers and like that, and then the little variants that he does with the slides is just. It's, Pretty fucking good so far, bro. Okay, like, nice day. That's crazy because I never knew that. Now I did a reaction with my homie Raf, and he mentioned that it's not uh, the normal acoustic guitar. And people are like, "Yo, this is the first time someone mentioned that." So that's. It. But you actually broke it down why and how you can tell it's not that I would have never known. Right. So that's really cool. <laughs> also, the sound of the strings too. Um, most acoustic guitars, like typical ones, they're metal strings. Those ones are nylon or. Um, if they're classic, classic, they're like cat gut, like cat intestines. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. What yeah. the hell? It, it sounds fucking like velvet, dog. It's, it's beautiful, but. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I learned something new every day on the channel. Let's freaking go. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. Wow. That's crazy. He can switch moods like like that. That's nuts. Never seen someone go from like like I've seen him people doing acting, but this man is acting and like performing at the same time. Yeah, that yeah. is that's crazy. Plus his um the the vocals that he did in the beginning, the pretty high tones, those. That was like the very operatic thing that like I learned. So that was very cool to see people like playing guitar and doing that at the same time. Because to do just the singing part of that properly and get those tones right is is impressive. Wow. Okay. Let's go. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program, rejoice All your problems will be gone Fucking dumb, boy Nah, mate this time is different. It's like Gollum and Smeagol from the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> Yo. dude. <laughs> Yo. But also, like his his evil side reminds me a little bit of Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. Oh wow! Like it's very like ah, hello me. It's it's creepy and like and like very. But it's on key and it's it's he has like mad diction, especially yeah. with the accent that he's got. Like uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's tight. Have you ever seen anything like this from what you've seen so so far? Um, not with like. The, the the amount of rapping, but we had a dude in, like, one of my plays in high school that could sing and do the acting thing. Like, play okay. guitar and do the acting. He couldn't sing and do it, but I don't know. When he could talk, he could play guitar really well. It was nice, crazy. Nice, All right, man. Well, we're getting into it. I like how you highlighted the opera stuff because I always, when I first heard it, I was like, yo, is this like a yodel or something? But then I was like, it does have this high opera sound, and you kind of hit it on the nose. So that's Right, tight. and all of that comes from down here. That's okay. singing from your chest. Okay. Yeah. So what's the difference, singing from your chest or diaphragm? <laughs> well, or? so when you sing from your chest, it's a little more throat. And, like, this obviously was a falsetto, which is when you go high with, like, the, oh kind of stuff but when you sing from your chest and you like let it resonate in the back of your throat and you hit long notes it'll start to like spin and you'll hear a little vibrato oh wow and then that vibrato will actually carry it through the venue so like instead of having to have a microphone you just push it from your chest a little bit and you like forego all that wow I learn something new every day on this channel y'all plus the, the the acoustics that he's in the, in that room are pretty nice because it's like it's equally dispersed and bounces everywhere it is Wow. All right, let's go, y'all. 
Trust me, I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song About how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you this, this is some of the craziest ego tripping that I I've ever seen um he's pretty much having an argument with himself that everyone in the entire world can relate to Fact. there's two sides to everybody whether they admit it or not and the one side is the compassionate let me feel fulfill my peace and spread my message but the other side and i think a lot of people say kill your ego but i think a little bit of ego is necessary for you to have the self-confidence to put it out there yeah i agree and yeah, this is highlighting that very well, but it's also highlighting the fact that too much ego can be dangerous yes. and it's also a war inside people's brains. So be careful what you say. Let's go. No rip off eyes, the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius. And I will be great, and I will make waves, and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. The lights, the lights got that mood right there. That was tight. Hell yeah. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal and you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch or shake So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs 
That I won't retire or stand in your fire Inspired I me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin to different sides to say something no no i'm harmonizing <laughs> oh okay <laughs> When I was 17 years old. Hold up. I don't know what's about to happen here, but after like that whole experience, like take what I don't, I don't know how many people in the audience have seen this, but take what this man is about to say, like to heart. Cause in that, he did that, all of that for a reason. I'm all about building moods and putting messages through the instruments of your music. So this message is about to be pretty cool. If you think pretty deep. Just, just my observation. Let's go. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Yeah, that's that's insane. I've never seen anything like that. I, I feel like a lot of people, if you struggle with mental illness, look at this on your own time and like really think about everything that's going on and listen, like let them, let the music and instruments touch your soul. Cause a lot of this, this is probably recorded in the different Hertz. I might be wrong. It might be recorded in a standard one, but it'll affect the wavelength you listen on and it might heal something. That's deep, man. That's deep. It's interesting how much you took in, in such a short amount of time, actually. <sighs> That's just from a lifetime of study and that yeah. stuff and, and theater too. Like that's part of my background. That's it. That's awesome, man. Um, bro, this is one of my, so this is a reaction I've been doing on the channel. It's all, honestly like a theme for Mondays. Cause it, what happens is cause Ren is from the UK. I don't feel like as many people from America are up on game yet right. because it's like the Harry Mack stuff. When I was doing Harry Mack reactions, um, I was meeting people who've never heard of them. Now it's really hard to find people who've never right. heard of them, and it's just fun, like trying to get like we're right now. The push is to get his subscribers to a million subs, and but this is just the the one that really captivated me and started me down this journey, right. this rabbit hole, and um, it's so much fun to like re put it in front of people who've never seen it and then get their honest, authentic opinion. Because even if you're like, "This is trash," I can't rock with this, you know. Like, no, I still feedback take it. is good feedback. Yeah, so you know what to do next time. Yeah. 
But um, but this was immaculate. I'm I gotta say that my mom is a music teacher, and she studied opera and theater and like classical stuff, oh, like wow. all of that stuff. So. I, like if I show her this, she's gonna like her and I gonna be crying on the couch, man. This yeah. is good. This is nuts. My sister too, like, like I'm serious about that mental health thing. This is a very, very good explanation of a mental health. Like, not all mental illnesses, but like the struggle with with personality disorders and schizophrenia and all of that. That was highlighted here very yeah. well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's so dope, man. Yo, this is tight, bro. Yeah. Like, it's funny because. Also, my response is to you, this is kind of like your reaction, right? Like, it's like that dude who's on the canoe, like, just taking you through, like, you know? Yeah. Like, I, so, like, I'm going to be building back and forth with you. But I love, actually, this, for some reason, I'm getting this vibe, like, you're really leading the charge. There have been times where maybe something has gone over someone's head, and I'll, I'll try to interject or just, you know, help guide certain things. But I, with you, you are just like, boom, boom, boom. And it's, it's awesome, too, because... I'm pretty novice when it comes to like musicianship or uh, or instrumentation. I'm I even I'm willing to admit like it's surface level in the sense that I go for the feeling, what right. things make me feel like. And Ren made me feel a certain way, and it drew me in, and I was able to articulate that, and people enjoyed that. But when I bring someone in here like this, you're hitting so many different wavelengths because you're like, yo, I feel this. This is beautiful. This would make my me and my mom cry. This is this this could be at a different hertz. This is why it's a uh, uh, a classic guitar. Right. This is how you sing opera. Like it's so cool to get these insights because then the viewers get to learn as well as, yeah. as we react. Absolutely. To it. Absolutely. Now, um, this is what's cool, you guys. Um, if you guys haven't seen him on the channel, we did a really cool Harry Mack reaction with his bandmate, Isaac. Yeah, boobs and cash, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. So um, what's really cool is he actually can rap, you guys. He can rap. He can do a bunch of different things. You'll so, make me rap right now, P. Nah, I mean, what we're going to do, I'm going to take you on this Ren roller coaster. Now, um, now, I picked this song. Have you ever heard of the term busking? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isaac we, and I have actually done that. Yeah, like, that's right. We used to, like to promote one of our shows. We like grabbed a boombox with a microphone and we we're just walking down the street freestyling. It's funny. I said, "Yeah, that's right." Because Isaac, I posted on the Instagram when you guys were walking in Manitou, right? And he's like, "Yeah, we're out busking," but I didn't connect the dots back then that that was you with yeah, him. Yeah. So that's hilarious. Well, good man. So you guys, you took a W. The UK people took a W. Every time I ask people, have you heard of busking? A gang of people are like, nah, I never heard of it. Yeah. So like you're like one of like two people who've been on the channel. Like, yeah, bro, I know. Of course I know. Right. So that's super sick. Hell yeah. So one, no, it's like 15 me, two UK. Let's go. <laughs> but um, okay. So I wanted to play this. Now Ren has a band called The Big Push. Now there's this. Uh, he does this uh, cover of "I Shot the Sheriff" that is amazing. I was gonna say that he went into this little reggae part that sounded like Bob Marley. Okay, cool. In that last video, that was pretty cool. I decided to switch this one up for you in particular, just because you are pretty vast with some of your uh, with some of the music knowledge in comparison to me. And so I want to play this. I believe it's a mashup and just whatever you know. Let me know. These are, they're outside playing. Let me know what you think of this performance. And this is the big push. This is Ren's band, and they're uh, covering War Pigs by Black Sabbath. Deep Pain just did a cover of this on his new album. Oh, did he? Yeah. Is it hard? It's pretty damn good, actually. T Pain. Yeah, bro. Mr. Auto Tune. Did he do an auto tune? He did a little bit, but it's like a very wet. Like natural voice. Yeah. People don't realize he can actually sing oh, yeah. really good. I've been to his concerts where he doesn't use auto tune. T Pain is yeah. the man. Bro he, won the mass singer without it. Yeah. So. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So now people know. See, yeah. but I don't watch those shows, but I forgot I heard about that. Yeah. All right, you guys. We are rocking with my man Fozzie Styles. I'm gonna have him what either up? leave a comment and I'll pin the comment so you guys can follow him on oh, YouTube yeah, or um let people know where they can find you on Instagram, all that stuff. Uh my Instagram's Fozzie Styles Official, same with my TikTok. Uh Facebook's just Fozzie Styles, F O Z Z Y S T Y L E Z. Same with my Spotify, I'm on platforms. I got a project coming out and some shows coming up. So go tap in there and I will I will get you tickets or or links to the music. Hell yeah, you guys. All right, so we're about to react to the Big Push War Pigs. Now, this is a premiere, so if you're watching it when it's being released, this is not live. It's a premiere, but it looks live. So if you left a super chat or a super thank you, I want to take the time to say 
thank you right now. It helps us keep the lights on, and it really is appreciated. So much love to you guys out there who's really supporting what we do. And let's get into this. This is the Big Push Wren's Band, and this is a cover of War Pigs. Here we go. Yeah. I just feel like to go straight into Black Sabbath from that's like giving someone a massage and kicking them in the face. <laughs> Yeah, All right, right, let's fucking do it. Who, who wants to kick in the face? The people have spoken, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, on the telly. Yeah. That guitar is sick. It's a little Telecaster. Okay, tight. La Telecaster. The generals gathered in that myself. Just like witches, I black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerer of death's construction. In the fields, the bodies burning. As the war machine keeps turning. Death and hatred to mankind. Brainwash my eyes. Oh, yeah. uh. They got a very, um, very Lenny Kravitz feel. Okay. Like, like, uh, are you gonna go my way, Lenny Kravitz? Oh, got you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Killing in the name of. She wouldn't help me with my mind People think I'm insane because I'm drowning all the time All day long I think I'm fainting Nothing seems to time is bad Think I lose my mind if I don't find something to pacify The way they tied all the, those three songs together was real smooth. Which ones did they tie together? Because when so, I, I reacted to this by myself, <sighs> and I and people were like, "Yo, I think they said Paranoid from Black Sabbath." That was the second one. Okay, yeah. and then that one's Crazy Train, obviously. Okay, Crazy Train. All right, man. I'm glad you're here because I don't know these songs like yeah. that, bro. Yeah. So okay, tight. Hell yeah. So this is a mashup for show for show. Yeah, tight. And it was cool because like they're different styles of rock, but they're all like like the same like tempo and swing so it works is really cool hell yeah That guy's a goddamn gangster, dude. He's wearing a black kilt and he shreds like that shit. That was nuts. Hell yeah. I believe his name is Roman. I think that's how you say it. Um, He has a, his own solo career starting to pop off right now. So shout out to Roman. I see why, dude. That shit was crazy. That, that guitar solo was nasty. Hell yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> now in darkness will stop turning. Is where the body's burning. No more war peaks hold the power. And the God has struck the hour. In the field, the body's burning. On the knees, the war peaks crawling. Death and hatred to mankind. And 
they do what they told you. Okay. Rage is one of the greatest hip hop bands of all time, and people can argue with me about them being a hip hop band. But Zach De La Roche got bars, dog. He he no, he's 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 a dope lyricist. It's actually crazy because we did an interview with Ren, but watching some of his interviews, he's a super fan of Zach De La Roche. Yeah. Like he's just big ups him. He's like he's one of the most slept on lyricists for like, real. Like yeah, because it's all it's all like it doesn't sound like it in some like obviously like Rage Against like testify that's a fight against the machine, but like a lot of his subliminal stuff goes a lot deeper than that, like sacred geometry and shit. Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah, man, it's crazy. This is dope. So you knew everything. I was I was waiting to see, like, yeah, man, he's going to get everything here. And that's why I played this one specifically for you instead of this uh, I Shot the Sheriff joint. Also, I want to switch it up because I do the I Shot the Sheriff one a lot on the channel. Right. But this was fr freaking ill. No, this was sick. And their band's very in tune with each other. Like, they're all, they got good chemistry, so they know when to stop and switch at the same time. Yeah. that's It's funny you noticed that because it's one of the things that I was like, Man, I've seen a couple of these, and I was like, oh, yeah, they're really in tune with each other just because there's not, like, these little glitches or little mistakes. It's just, like, they're just, oh, uh, right on time every right. time. So that's crazy. <laughs> Oops, hold on. All right, you guys, we just reacted. Now, this is a first-time reaction with Fozzie Styles. If you're watching the premiere, make sure you're hitting that like button, you guys. And make sure you're going to Ren's channel and subscribing. We got to get him to that million subs. So he drops those. And the big push, too. Yeah, yeah, facts. And we want to get those extra videos. I think it's this month, next month. I don't know. I lose track. I'm in a mental fog of yeah. the YouTube space. But it's all good. All right, man, I got one more for you. And uh, this is like the little cherry on top. So, you know, um, I wanted to show you his diversity. Because when you go from high Ren, right, which is like this theatric art piece like to me i feel like this is that's a moment that you know certain things that are going to stand the test of time right that piece of art is just here to stay it's you know right what I'm saying? well and especially if you put it in like a venue like like the belco theater yeah or like an actual opera theater. If you put that there and then record that live, that that would be like a piece of art that would stand eons. Yes. And like that, just on the YouTube version, that was nuts. But if they went into a full theatrical like production with it, it would probably be one of the best selling things of like modern opera theater kind of classical yeah. stuff. Yes. And I believe that... Um he is a part of, you know how you have like these gen these artists that only come once a generation? I believe he's special like that. Yeah. Yeah, him and like Marcin Pevlik or whatever. He's a guitarist from Poland. You should check him out. But I will. I've never heard of him. Yeah. That's kind of tight. I'll send you some videos or some yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do a reaction together. You know, yeah. Play, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Down, I'm down. I'll just pull it up and be like, all right, what is this? Because I, I haven't seen I do all stuff of like it. that all the time. My boy Andy Rue. He's um he can play piano and stuff, but he also is into like death metal and stuff. Yeah. So he puts me on to stuff that I would never check out on the channel. Actually, the bass player in my hype man, who's my uncle, was on tour with a death metal band as a vocalist. Oh, really? He does the raw kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's wild. All right, so I wanted to take a turn and just see a di highlight a different um aspect of what he does. And so right here, I wanted to uh, play this one. This is Ren losing it. And we're here reacting with the homie Fozzie Styles. Check him out yeah. online. And let's get into this, y'all. This is the last one of the evening or day or wherever you're at. Let's go. Are you dizzy? Are you dumb? Feed, feed, bye, bye, bo, bo, bomb. Who's that kid that come from bright time? I'm in my room producing hits, and when I mix it, pour some juice in it. It's so prolific, it's that bougie shit. And when the beat drops like this, I'm yes, my, yes, my, yes, my brother. Baddest kid in the game, sick motherfucker. Sounds hardcore, so raw, no rubber. Milk that, milk that, milk that udder. Ooh, Judy Kaiser Chief, Ruby, Ruby, I'm Scooby Doo, goes to groupie. Spooky, Volta guys, rap the bookie. Fuji, snap a pick of the booty. Kill him when I get in the zone I'm in my feeling when I'm screaming to be taking the throne And I'm a demon Morgan Freeman when I'm flipping the flow I got that short shank, sugar, shake it, rag in the bone, man 
Damn, Jean-Claude Van Damme Put on the red light, please Roxanne She said I'm a dick when I get out of hand You look quite fit with my dick in your hand Jump on the bit of my comma, run on dun dun I'm the king of the bongo, the bongo bong And I'm flipping the shit like a swan tom bomb Are you dizzy? Are you dumb? Wait, just wait a sec Wait, let me catch my breath I'm about to go beast mode I'm about to go mock back Packing the rapping, I got the rhythm I'm back on the map I'm rapping and rapping, no cap I'm ripping and dripping and fact you're tripping, you're slipping I'm so prolific, I'm flipping the track The quickest in Britain I got precision when spitting the fight Come with the rhythm and giving the flow Coast to coast, I boast to be the most explosive You know, psychosis I get when I start to spit And when the beat drops like this I'm losing it uh, Isaac does that shit That 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 flow scheme that he just does it And he does it when he's freestyling And it pisses me off because I can't do it Oh, the, the which one? The fast one? The the not the like super fast one, but the one before and after. Like I don't know, run it back. Okay, like like ten seconds, whatever. Precision when spitting the fight, come with the rhythm and giving the flow, coast to coast. I boast to be the most that explosive, part. you know, psychosis I get when I start. Oh yeah, yeah. psychosis I get when no sis, that bit, that Yeah, that Isaac that does that. that. He's that really bit. good at doing that shit freestyling, and it pisses me off because I'm like, man, you fucking make me get better, goddamn it. That's tight. Yeah, man, I chose to play this one. So this is a retake, right? So. Uh, I guess Fisher. Uh, hold on, let me see. Let me so I'm not sounding dumb in these reactions. No, you. So Fisher rap losing it. Da, 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 da. This is a retake of uh, I guess Fisher rap. I don't know. Someone else did the beat, but he produces his own beats. Right. So he does hip hop too, but I think he added some um uh, sounds to the original of this, and then he's just doing his thing. But I thought this was cool to go from high ren. To war pigs, yeah, to, this, to show this, been, to it, show you th- his flexibility. It really has been layers. a roller coaster because he went from like opera, like classical to like EDM house music. Yeah, yes, and then rock. That's crazy. And what's fun is like someone like you, I felt like could appreciate it. Sometimes I'll bring more <laughs> like a hip hop cat in, and I'll put them in like the the joint I'll play last will be like something more hip, more hip hip hop from right. him. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, that's just fun to to. That's kind of like like I'm not saying I do the same stuff because I don't do opera. I do like I don't have a really a genre because I make R and B and pop and hip hop and I'm working on folk music right now okay, and dope. some like funk and disco and shit. So yeah, I'm kind of like this has been a cool experience. Like I'm gonna have to check Rand out a lot more because yeah, and this is the other thing, man. What I like to do is when people get to react to these and get introduced i feel like it can be inspiring so you might have saw something that's like man i shouldn't be so scared to do this or yo actually i'm excited to try this like whatever it may be sometimes people like him get artists excited (laughs) and inspired to do something new or take a step they haven't taken before i'm definitely gonna start playing around more with the opera because like i have a little bit of that training but i like i throw like mongolian throat singing in my music oh wow like I do that stuff live in the studio, but can you demonstrate it? Boy, yeah, and then like some undertones, like that kind of stuff. But See, I also can do some of the opera. Like I, I gotta honestly stop smoking so much, but get my voice back. But <laughs> um, yeah, like I want to start putting some operatic stuff into my opera and choir stuff. That's crazy! You just did that, bro. What, the <laughs> bro? <laughs> Holy sh! I'm yo. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to bring, so this is what I want you guys to do. Tap into the chat and the comments. If you want me to bring back Fozzie to react to the tales of Jenny and Screech by Ren, I know that's the cult classic. You guys always ask. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tell him now tentatively hold off on watching something like that. Obviously he's free to dive into Ren stuff, but if you want him back, let it be known and let it be known now so I could try to make yeah. it happen sooner than later. Um, but, yeah, um, sheesh, I think, man, there's so much. We'll build after this, too, because when you did that, have you ever heard of this group called Home Free? Uh, yeah, with um, I know that they do, a, like, a ring of fire with Avi Coughlin. It was yeah. Really, it was really sick. And then there's this other dude. He's is the low bass singer. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah. He's like... It's uh, just crazy because what you did reminded me of that. So if there's anything mm. I have that you haven't seen, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to hear, I'm trying to react to it and then hear you do some shit while we do that because that yeah. was tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got to listen to more of your stuff, man, because I got to get familiar. We're going to have some fun. You don't, we got to do don't some hear stuff it. on the channel, bro. You don't hear it until you like listen for it. But yeah. once you hear it, it's like, wow, that's crazy. That's tight. All yeah. right, let's get it, man. We're reacting to Ren. This is Losing It, uh, Fisher Rap version. Let's go. And when the beat drops like this, I'm losing it. Uh. 
So that's right, I'm a werewolf out in the moonlight. I'm a blood sucking parasite. I'm a digital vampire terabyte. On a new hype, I'm a orbit the earth like a satellite. Sex and violence glamorized. Tarantino flow, no lullaby. Tom Cruise down the street, vanilla sky. With my sword, I'm the very last samurai. It's a mission impossible, make it out alive. Do you hear it? Do you feel it? Do you feel my vibe? Headshot, baby. I'm fucking it up like I made it. Sometimes stuck in the rock, but I break it. Come twice, busting the knock, you can't fake it. Fuck my luck, it's about to double up non stop. I'm great, I'm about to stop the clock on lock. I break and chop the rhythm up. I make the music just to hype them up. Yes, my brother love each other, I'm an agent undercover. Who's that Mr. Lover Lover? I'm the baddest mama mama. Beep, beep, bye bye, both on shit. When the beat, wait, wait, wait. I'm losing. Come like, come like, come like, bang on. Spotlight, 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 get on. Red light, green light, red light. Get on, empty this, chamber. This definitely came from Europe. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, for real, this definitely came from Europe. That's tight. Let him be mine. Let him kick that shit like David Beckham. Bristol, Brighton, London, Beckham. Kill this shit, man. What you reckon? Back on my bullshit. Did you see what I did there, new kid? On the block, tip the drop of the music. I twist it, beat it, abuse it. Then, whack once again. Pop one, pop two, drop three men. Click, click. Pop one again. Pop myself in the head for revenge. I'm sick with the flow, I'm lit with it, roll the shit, take that coat Oh no, you know I'm locomoto, my locomotive is making me blow And come up, take a risk and then I'll burn up I'm the Godzilla of the come up, I'm a gorilla in the jungle I'm losing it, switch the flow, I can't get it, get it I'm Mr. Cool, I'm very, very good It's good, it's big in the hood, it's big like a bear, a bear in the wood It's good, it's good, and I've understood that I am the one to make the world look And I am the one to make the world shook And I am the one for history book Kill it when I'm running the game, I'm in the four door four when I'm back in my lane and I'm a mordor Lord, the nice cool will rain and the floorboards, walls and windows will shake The rhythm, the rebel, the basin, the treble, the angel, the devil, you're not on my level I'm very unsettled, I'm very disheveled, I'm messed in the mental, just check my credentials Wait, just wait a sec, wait, let me catch my breath I'm about to go beast mode, I'm about to go my best does, do, does he do his own vocal mixing? I think so. I, I know he records himself for the most part. I believe so. I know he, he had like a deal with Sony back in the day, so I don't know if in that deal he'd record at bigger studios, but I'm pretty he's like really in tune with the art. Like right. he, he makes his own beats, everything. Everything he yeah. does hands on. I'm everything. Just, that that vocal mix is clean. Hell yeah. 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 No, this one he he's snapping on this. Yeah, too. this is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, kill a track with full ambition, wiping out the opposition, stocking up on ammunition, competition, demolition, definition, musicians, TV wonder, superstition, repetition, 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 repetition. I'm efficient, kiddie with the disposition. Stop, I chop the fuck up like a cosmetician, reignition, I condition tracks with my rapping vision. Reposition, set the fuck back, cause I'm on a mission. Fisher. Boom, there's your introduction to Ren. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm going to have to check this out. I'm going to not watch those two for sure. Yeah, so it's so it's a full tale. It's the tale of Jenny and Screech and Violet's tale. It's a trilogy. And um I don't want to spoil it just like today like I was being I was being very withdrawn with saying anything because I knew you're already super proficient in the arts. So I wanted to just let you draw up your own conclusions right. and everything you hit right on the, on the nose, which doesn't always happen when I do these reactions. So this was epic, but I do, I can't lie. It's the cult classic. Everyone's like, yo, um, Jenny and screech. He, he has gems, bro. Like he, like th what's funny is I just showed you three joints and I'm still, I've been reacting to his stuff for like six months and I still have sh to go through in his catalog. Wow. He's just a machine with and it, Anyways, I don't yeah. want to, Spoil nothing, but yeah, man, he's got some things out there. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yo, man, well, I appreciate you coming through and doing the uh, the Ren roller coaster. Yeah, you guys, um, show some love to Fozzy Styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Um, make sure I'm gonna uh try to get his uh his YouTube handle. I'll put it in the description. But the main thing is I'll have him post a comment and then I'll pin that comment um for when this releases. So you guys, uh, make sure you tap in, show some love. And if you want him back, you got to shout it over the damn mountaintop. Let me know because yeah. I don't want to keep him from. Tap me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah, blow up on YouTube. Yeah, let's go. So, um, other than that, um, you guys, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Black Pegasus, Bozzy Styles, and yeah. we got a bunch of stuff on the way. Like, share, comment on all the content. But if you really rock with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. But before you do that, make sure you're subscribed to Ren's channel. Let's get him to that Millie. And uh, we out of here, y'all. Ooh, 40. He, he close. Yeah, he's very close. Very close. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. FUQ boys. 40. Yay.